How you doing folks? Today we've got some drum brews coming from Paris in France. We are on the River Seine and today I want to check out a little brew that we're doing using the single paradiddle and some inversions of the single paradiddle. The first brew that we're going to look at is just what I was playing then in the introduction. We've got so we've got a single paradiddle at the start with the sticks. Right, left, right, right, left. And the bass drum is playing on beat one and one and. So, so far we have one, B, and, R, uh, two. And then on beat two we have, so we have two, E, and, with a little ghost note there, and then an accent with the hi-hat on the fourth sixteenth of beat two. Two, nice and solid, two, E, and, R. Uh. Alright, now that is also going to be a hi-hat quiz. Alright, so we have one, E, and, R, uh, two, E, and, R. Uh. Alright making sure that we close the hi-hat exactly on beat three with the left foot, which I didn't quite do very well then. And we have one E and a two E and a three. That's really important that we close that exactly on beat three like that, all right? So we have one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. So from beat three onwards, we have three E and Alright, we've got an accent with a rim shot with the left hand on the snare on the 4th 16th of beat 3. So it's 3, E and R. Alright, and then beat 4 is also an accent, shoulder of the stick, edge of the hi-hat, and two ghost notes, and a bass drum, and we're done. So we have 4, E and R, 1. And that's the whole thing. So beats 3 and 4 is this, 3, E and R. Now what's really important with this kind of funk groove is that we have that dynamic contrast. No point the whole thing being the same volume. That just sounds ridiculous. So in order to get it to groove, we've got to have that light and shade and that separation of dynamics. So I'm going for really soft notes here, ghost notes on the snare and rim shots. Same thing on the hi-hat, shoulder of the stick on the edge for the thick accent sounds. Tip on the top for the thin sounds, okay? So you move your wrists accordingly to get those softer sounds, okay, and those accents. So all up, once again, we have one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. Okay. Few variations on that. 